Do you know, do other veteran service commissions, do they ask for their full budget then? Some do. Oh, really? Absolutely. Okay. okay. Yeah. Do you know, do you know specifically which ones do? Okay. Uh, Summit County, Cuyahoga County, I think Montgomery County, Franklin County. Again, those are the only ones that I, I have heard mm -hmm. ask for their full right, amount. Right, right. Come in. No, you didn't want to get the camera. It's five eighty nine per pay times twenty six pays. That's fifteen thousand. This is the for the year. Fifteen thousand for twenty six pages. Fifteen thousand for twenty six pages. Fifteen thousand three fifty five thirty two. Yeah. Okay. So it's less than seventeen. Yes. Okay. I'm sorry. Fifteen thousand three hundred fifty five dollars and thirty two cents. <laughs> fifteen thousand three thirty five thirty two. Three thirty five. Okay. Yeah. It'll be even less. Right. Yeah. Cause yeah. That's for when we lose. Uh, well, because we lost Tom. That's right. We had a driver retired too. We lost him. How long has your discussion over this matter been going on with county commissioners? Since, just since the last board meeting, Mr. Burnaby came up here and uh, fussed. How, how often is your board meet? Once a month. Once a month? Yeah. Okay. So it's just been going on about a month. Right. One question, yeah. one, okay. one final question I have is, um, you know, we, we hit you cold with this. Mm-hmm. And you're sitting here thinking about this. Mm -hmm. And can can you share with us just what's going through your mind on this whole situation right now? That's an interesting question. Uh, and absolutely fair. Uh, you know, it, it, I think it's a sad state of affairs that with all that's going on in our county here, with the joblessness and the condition of the economy, that the county commissioners, i.e. Janet Creighton, would waste this amount of time on such a trivial situation. I would think that, that this could be put to better use than fussing with the Veterans Service Commission. Uh, but again, it, I guess it just boils down to, to control. Who's in charge? I remember sitting in a board meeting with the county commissioners when I presented, and I won't mention names, a few years ago, and one county commissioner spoke up and said, well, who do we control? And that individual, another commissioner spoke up and said, nobody. Just who, the building here and our employees, and the commissioner put his head down and said, oh, and I think that, to me, that's what it boils down to. You know, you can call me all the names in the world. Uh, I, I think that that is absolutely juvenile, uh, that I'm a bureaucrat. No, I'm here to do my job. Um, gee whiz. But I, I, I think, you know, that what a waste of time, what a waste of effort. What you're doing to the community, it's a, a continuous thing. If you remember a few years back where we threatened to, the mandamus action and they hit the front of the repository, county pays to sue itself. How ridiculous. <laughs> and that's what it was. Yeah, yeah you yeah, remember that. Yeah. And that's what this came, almost came to a mandamus action. Mm -hmm. But see, there are a lot of, it's pretty bitter. And, and, you know, when you run the race and you lose the race, it's, it's disheartening. And I think that's unfortunately what's happened here. But I would certainly think with, the, with the, the way the situation is in this county, in the state, in the country, that we could be putting our time to better use than fussing over $15,000. Uh, I, I do. I truly feel sorry that people who are laid off or unemployed or have no jobs, and what I say to that, I'm sorry, I didn't do it. I had no hand in it, nor did the Veterans Service Commission. But we're here for you. If you're a veteran, you need the help. Um, yeah, I, I guess I could go on and right. even right. more, but I'm, I'm just... I'm, I'm somewhat uh, fascinated by your uh, 
uh, bring reducing this down to one word control and I'm also interested that you included uh, K uh, Chief County Administrator Mike Hankey uh, as being a fourth a de facto uh, commissioner. Uh -huh. uh, my question is how much does he factor in to the term control in your from your perspective? Boy, I think he factors in a lot. And again, I can say that because when I get this little memo, his name's on it. Or I get these little emails, his name's on it. Um, yeah. So would, would it, you think he's the primary actor on the control factor? Oh, I don't. I don't think so. I, I, I don't know if there is a primary. Uh, I think they're just grasping for, again, the money pot. Because uh, I, I remember, when God bless him, uh, Singleton, you remember him. He was a county administrator. Right. And he, I always referred to him as the fourth county commissioner. Mm -hmm. and oh, most okay. People, most people always did because they, he usually, he, yeah, he, I would, I would venture to say the, the county minister has his fingers on the pulse of the community, of the county, more so than the commissioners. So you're not singling out Administrator Hankey as being any different than any other county administrator? No. Yeah, I think he's about the same. Okay. But, but I think he's a strong county commissioner downstairs. Going forward, how do you see your, the Veterans Service Commission's relationship with the commissioners? Well, I think, <laughs> at this point, extremely strained. Our board members today were still upset from last month's meeting with Mr. Burnaby. Uh, and I think it's going to take some time at, to get over it, as long as they're willing to want to do it. You know, we weren't the one rattling sabers. They did what they thought was within their right within the law, and they were. You Are know, you just like I remember when Tom Harmon was a county commissioner, and I shouldn't throw these names out, but he's, he came up to me one day and he said, I don't like the law. I don't like the, the way that 5901 is. I said, Tom, I'm sorry, you know, I see that stop sign down there. I don't like that either, but I have to abide by the law until it's changed. Is, uh, are you just going to let this simmer from your board standpoint until the next board meeting, or is there, are there provisions to call special board meetings? And are you disposed to suggest that? I would I will talk to the board president see if he, find, he finds it necessary. I guess what we're going to do is probably respond to what we see in the press, and we'll go from there with it. Again, I'm hoping that, you know, that uh, the truth is the truth. Is that Overdorf still a budget? No. Hoskins. Hoskins. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I, you know, again, I don't see any reason to, uh, I, again, I'll talk to the board president, probably call him tomorrow mm -hmm. and see what he says. Um, but I don't see a, a knee-jerk reaction is not necessary on our part.